graders, this is Miss Kish, and we are talking about our personal narratives today in writing. If you remember last week, we spent a lot of time thinking of ideas, something to write about, and then at the end we tried to pick our number one um, topic that we wanted to write about first, okay? I picked my topic about canoeing with that snake, and then what I did was make my plan right? You might not be done with your plan and you might be working on your plan today. That's a-okay, all right? If you're not finished with your plan, I'm not worried and you shouldn't be worried either. That could be what you're doing today. So before you start, if your plan's not done, I want you to go back and I want you to look at what you have so far and I want you to remember that movie in your head that you watched of your story and remembering as much as you can about your story, okay? So if that's you, if you're working on a plan today, go back and look what you have so far, think about the movie in your mind, and think about what your next step will be and keep working on the plan. You can even pause this video until your plan is finished, okay? So you might not even finish watching it until tomorrow. That's okay. Now, if you are finished with your plan, okay, like I am, I did all the parts of my plan, the next thing you're going to do is look at it again, okay? Writers are always going back over their ideas. They're reading their, their writing, they're looking back at their ideas, they're thinking if they need to add things or change things or delete things. Delete means get rid of something. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to look back over my plan. And that's what you need to do too if your plan is done. I'm reading the words, I'm looking at the pictures, I'm thinking is there anything I left out? Is there anything I want to change? Is there anything that's not really important in my story and I should get rid of it? I should delete it, okay? So why don't you do that now? Pause the video and take a look at your plan, okay? See if you need to add, change, or delete and come back when you finish doing that, okay? Okay, second graders, if you are watching right now, your plan is finished, right? and you looked at your plan again today. Maybe you made some changes to it, maybe you added some things, you went, oh, no, oh, I remember what the weather was like, or oh, I remember somebody else was there with me, or oh, I remember what I was wearing and I could color my shirt that color in the picture, or I could write a note about it, okay? You um, might have added things, you might have changed things, you might have deleted things, got rid of them. But if you think your plan is totally finished, you have told your whole story, and you remember as many details as you can, then you are ready for the next step, and that is writing your story, okay? This is called drafting, and when we draft, we take our plan and we turn it into words on our paper. I want you to do your draft in your writer's notebook. I want you to do your draft on lined paper, so you might go to your first empty page, okay? And here's an important thing I want you to do. I want you to skip a line every time you write. So you might start your story on the very first line right here. You're gonna fill this line to the end. When you go down here, you're gonna skip the second line and go down here, okay? So you're going to have a whole line of space in between each line that you write. And the reason why we're going to do that is because it gives us space to fix things later, to add details, to change things like maybe if we need to fix how you spelled the word or maybe if we need to cross things off or you left out a capital letter it gives us a lot of space to do that later okay so I'm going to find the pen here it is and I'm gonna draw some X's just to show you okay so every time I fill a line I'm going to skip the next line. So if I started my story by this X, I would fill that whole line. And then the next line, I would skip it. I would leave it empty. And I would do my next line of my story right here. And then I would skip a line. And then I would do the next line of my story right there. That gives us space later that we need, okay? It also makes your writing easier to read. Because if you have letters that are going down like a Y 
it gives them space in between them so we can see them better. Okay, so you're writing in your writer's notebook. That way your writing doesn't get lost. And you are skipping a line for every line that you write. I'm going to show you. I'm going to start my story. I'm not going to write the whole thing. But I am going to start it. Okay, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And I'm going to type my story because that will be faster than you watching me write on paper. Okay, um, but I can show you how to skip lines. It's going to kind of look the same on here. Okay, here's an important thing you need to do. When you are writing your story, you need to have your plan in front of you. This is the movie of your story that you put on paper. Okay, have it in front of you. It has all the details and things you need to help you write. And it will make your writing be so much easier. Okay, that's tip number one. Have your plan in front of you when you write. Tip number two, tip number two is don't worry so much about spelling right now, okay? I want you to sound out words as best you can. If you think it might not be spelled right, draw a circle around it and we will look at it later, okay? Writing a draft is all about getting your words on the paper and then we go back and worry about things like spelling and capital letters, okay? If you remember it, put them in, right? But if you forget, we'll go back later and fix those things. Okay, here's my story. My story starts on the James River in Virginia. It's spring, it's morning time, and me and some of my friends are going canoeing. All right, so I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna start my story. Oh, lots of stories start with the setting, right? And the characters. So I'm gonna say one beautiful spring morning. Oh, my computer is thinking about what I want to type before I type it. One beautiful spring morning, my friends and I decided to go canoeing. Look what I have. I have a space in between my lines. That's what you're doing on your notebook paper. That will help us out a lot later. Okay, now I'm looking. Okay. We arrived at the James, oh my goodness, River. No, I don't know if friends looks right. I'm going to, I can't circle it. I'm going to underline it, but you would circle it. And I'm just going to keep going, okay? And I'm going to come back to that later. We arrived at the James River early one Saturday morning. Man, my computer just knows what I want to say, doesn't it? And you know what? I didn't write Saturday on my notes, but I now that I'm thinking about it, I'm remembering that it was a Saturday. So another detail just popped into my head. Okay. One beautiful spring morning, my friends and I decided to go canoeing. We arrived at the James River early. I'm going to change that. Early on Saturday early on a Saturday. Since I already said morning up at the top, I think I'll change that. Okay, I'm already changing things, right? Because I reread it and I didn't quite like how it sounded, so I wanted it to say something a little different. You can do that too. Make sure when you're writing, you're writing with a pencil because that can help you change your ideas quick if you need to, just like me. Okay, now I'm gonna say the river had many tall, tall trees along the hedge, edge, edge, edge. I'm not sure about that word, so I'm going to sound it out. I'm gonna underline it. You would circle it, and I'm going to keep going. And you guys know I am telling you about trees along the edge, right? Because that is important later on in my story. Okay, so now I will say, my friend, my friend, Kofi and I were in a canoe. Ooh. There we go. Together, I was in the front. Okay, I'm helping you make a picture in your mind of what's happening in my story. Remember that your reader is not going to see your plan. The plan's for you. So all the details in my plan, I need to put in my story, okay? 
So my friend Kofi and I were in a canoe together. I was in the front. We all started to get hungry. Let's underline that one and keep going. Wanted to eat our lunches under the shade of the trees. Okay, look where I am. Boys and girls, I have written about two parts of my plan. The first part and the second part. And I'm getting to the part where we are starting to paddle over to the edge to eat our lunches in the shade, right? Boys and girls, this is what you are going to do when your plan is finished, okay? You're going to take this plan and you're going to turn it into a story written on paper, okay? The important thing I can tell you is to have your plan in front of you. Don't worry about spelling right now. Do your very best to sound out words. Circle words that might be wrong or that you're not sure about and keep going, okay? And make sure that all the details you put on your plan go into your story so that your reader knows about them because they won't see this paper, okay? So boys and girls, your job today is, it might be finishing your plan if it's not finished. It's definitely looking at your plan again, okay? Making sure that you there's nothing you want to add or change or delete, get rid of, okay? And then you're starting to write your story. I am not worried if your story is not finished today. It doesn't have to be. Work hard at it, okay? But you will have time tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday if you need it to work on your story. Take your time. Please don't feel like it has to be done today, okay? If you're stuck, if you're not sure what to write about, if you're not sure what to do for your plan, if you're not sure how to turn your plan into writing on your paper, come to our office hour Zoom meeting. It's the same link that you use to come in the morning, okay? Come in and Ms. Greenhoe and I will be there and we will help you write your story. We can help you with words that you're stuck on. We can help you write the first sentence that can be a hard one to do, right? We can help you with your plan if you're stuck on your plan, okay? So come see us if you are stuck, all right?